shoot for YouTube for a very very long time but something's been holding me back. I first picked up a camera in November 2018 when I started my photography career. This is also the time that I started on Instagram. Back then I did want to start on YouTube but I let the fear of not being able to edit video and not being able to shoot video hold me back. In the last couple of months I've been learning how to shoot film and edit video and I'm ready to put that into use to bring that to YouTube and explore this more creative side of using a camera. But before we talk about all that I need to run some errands. So why start on YouTube now? Well, I think that YouTube will give me an awesome creative outlet and uh, when I started on Instagram, it made me go out and be accountable to the followers to uh, go out and actually shoot photos and improve. Um, so I'm hoping YouTube will be the same for me with video. It'll make me go out and film, it'll make me edit video, it'll make me improve and it'll make me get used to stuff like this, walking around with people looking at me while I talk to the camera. So there are so many reasons why I want to be on YouTube right now and that is because I feel like it's the best creative outlet for me at the moment while I'm trying to focus on my filming and my videography because I love photography, photography is great but there's something that I've come across in the last couple of months with filmmaking that is just so much vaster, so much bigger, so much more interesting and so much more to do. I'm ready to delve into that world right now and I think YouTube is going to be the best outlet for that. You guys will be able to hold me accountable because I want to be consistent. Uh, I think YouTube holds so many possible opportunities if you're just ready to work for it, put the graft in and just be very consistent. So as well as my Instagram, I now want to start growing on YouTube. But first, gotta be safe. lady basically told me to go away. No, uh, because I have tested positive for coronavirus within the last 90 days, she said there's a high possibility I could get a false positive. The protein spikes are apparently still in my system, so uh, even though I don't have COVID, I can still test positive, and I don't need the time off work right now. And I don't think work need me to have the time off, so uh, I'll come back in a month and I'll have a test then. But for now, let's go back home. Actually, before we go home, I need to go to my mum's to pick up some food. So, let's go there, go see the dogs, then come back and cook some breakfast. I have absolutely no idea how people vlog and drive, so I'll see you at the dogs. I came over here to get food. I can't find the food. No one's picking up. I suppose I'll have to come back later. Have an OT. He doesn't know what to do. He's never been on the kitchen side before. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, well, I suppose we'll come back later. I'll get the food later. Um, gives me something to do. Don't know about you, but I'm absolutely starving. I think it's time to go home and have some breakfast. 
I'm thinking later on uh, we'll go to the forest and I'll take you to a mausoleum uh, and see if we can find some highland cows. Uh, it turns out you can get highland cows down here in Kent in the south. So uh, we'll see if we can go find them later. I fancy the bacon sarni, so I acquired some bread on the way home. Let's go cook. Breakfast montage. I hope you enjoyed that breakfast montage. It's now a little bit later in the day. It is around 4.30 in the afternoon, which means the sun sets in about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, if you remember that mausoleum I spoke about earlier and the place with the Highland cows, I've just got here. Um, and I know it rained a lot yesterday, so uh, I brought some appropriate footwear that were already covered in mud. It's a fairly short, 30 minute walk up to the mausoleum. So when we get there, I'm looking forward to putting the drone up and on the way, I'll tell you more about the YouTube channel. I was right, it's so muddy. I'm literally slipping all over the place. I don't know if you saw it in the last shot or not, but I tried to get a, uh, a little bit of beer roll of me walking through the woods and almost fell ass over tip. So uh, I've got to be careful. It's a good thing I've got my dirty trainers on and my legs rolled up my, and my jeans rolled up. Um, try and keep it a little bit cleaner. I know that once I get past the bridge, bridge is just about to come up it gets a lot less muddier Ooh, a lot less slippier and uh, a lot drier as well oh fuck it so uh just need to get past there because it's five o'clock now the sun sets in an hour and 15 minutes i've still got about 20 minutes to walk and i really want to get some good light while i'm there so uh let's pick up the pace so this is where i come to today Cuxton countryside we are currently over here and we need to go all the way along here to the mausoleum. So let's get going. Right, so let's get back to why I'm on YouTube. So I've been a photographer now for two and a half years, the same amount of time that I have been on Instagram. The last couple of months are the first time that I've really ever touched on filmmaking or video. And uh, it's a whole new world that I have to explore and something that I'm really looking forward to. Am I a good filmmaker? No, definitely not. Am I an interesting person? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. You can decide, maybe I'll get more interested. Am I a good storyteller? Not right now, sometimes maybe, but you know, I could definitely improve. But do I want to get better at all of these? Yes, 100%, and that's what my main focus is at the moment. I want to improve all of these aspects, and hopefully that's a good enough reason for you to subscribe and carry on watching my videos and 
come along with me on my journey as my skills in filmmaking and production get better and better. Now, I'm not under any illusion at all that this video is going to be good, and I am okay with that. Wise men have said before me, never let perfection get in the way of good enough. But I know for a fact that with consistency and practice, my editing, my filmmaking, and my storytelling will improve. I'll be able to dial in the audio more efficiently and put together a better end product. These are the end goals I'm aiming for, and these are the reasons that I've decided to post to YouTube. It's a bit of a hill we've just had to come up. I've almost made it. Not much longer to go, and then it's all flat. Almost made it to the top of the hill. So incredibly unfit at the moment. Waiting for those gyms to open. April 12th, bring it on. I've just come across some awesome light. Take a look at this. If only someone was standing in this light here, coming through here, we'll make an awesome compression shot. Too bad I don't have time to stop. Otherwise I'll put my camera on a tripod. I'll go stand in the light and uh, get that done, but maybe next time. Honestly, I'm looking forward to moving into a, uh, a new form of social media, to be honest with you. My growth on Instagram has been a lot of fun and I have met so many like-minded creatives and uh, really talented people along the way that I think I can now call friends. So what I'm hoping for is that uh, during my journey on YouTube, this, uh, this same thing happens again and that I meet even more people along the way that will help me grow and change me overall as a person. So I'm really excited to see what this new adventure has in store for me and what lays ahead. Do I want to be a YouTuber? Yeah, why not? It looks like a fun job, it looks like a lot of work, but I'm down for that. And it looks like there are so many advantages to becoming a YouTuber that, you know, I might be able to reap the benefits of. Do I need to become a YouTuber? No. As long as I have somewhere that is a creative outlet for me to put my videos that I am making, I am happy. If I grow in the process, that's absolutely fine. If I don't, that's also absolutely fine. But as long as I'm building some sort of portfolio that I can use to then look for other work, I'm a happy man. There we go. We're entering Highland Cow Territory. Let's see if we can find them. Did you see those two trees over there? This one here and this one here, you can't. I took pictures of those once coming up here on a on a day where um, the light was really good. The light was really good, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll show you them now. I put them up on screen. Quite happy with them. Think I can do better next time. Here she is, the mausoleum. We made it in time for sunset, so. Hopefully we should get some good drone shots when I get that up in the air. And I'll show you those in a bit. But for now, let me show you the mausoleum. Now you're probably wondering, what am I gonna post on YouTube? And that is literally open to interpretation. I am not pinning myself down to one particular niche right now. I am planning to do a sort of photography, travel, vloggy lifestyle based channel to start with and I kind of want to blur the lines in the middle so at the beginning especially as I'm learning and, and all I want to do is make sure that I'm putting videos together and improving I'm gonna post whatever I want so if there's anything you would like to see whether that's photography based travel based lifestyle based then just comment below and I'll try and incorporate it into the videos how often will I be posting once a week is what I'm aiming for it it may be difficult some weeks I may not be able to post but I'm aiming for one a week. Hold me accountable for that. I'm saying this because I want to make sure that I do post and that I am creating and that I am getting better and improving my skills. One last quick fact I think you should know. This mausoleum here is actually empty. It's something that I googled last time I was here. An earl, a couple of hundred years ago, decided to build it because his current family grave was full, but then it was decommissioned before any bodies were even put into it, which is a bit of a shame, but hey. But this mausoleum is in the middle of absolute nowhere. Let's get the drone up and I'll show you.
was just about to do the outro and then I noticed some Highland moves go past me while I was flying the drone. So I'm gonna go down, show you the moves as well, see if I can get a couple of shots and then uh, I'll end the video. Look at him over there. Such a big move. Such stunning creatures, eh? Look at the size of those horns. That's a big boy. Don't want to get hit by them. Right, I really hope you enjoyed that drone flight. I'll let you into a little secret. That was the second time that I've ever shot video on my drone. As a photographer, I never really used the, uh, the video function on the drone too much, so I'm looking forward to practicing that some more as well. But I think it's time to say goodbye and do the outro for this video at this beautiful location at the mausoleum. I know it's been a lot of talking today, but that's because I've had a lot to say. This is my first video. I just want to explain what's going on, what I'm about, and what I'm going to be doing. So I'm glad I've got it out of the way. Like and subscribe if you fancy seeing my journey going forward. It really helps it out. Leave a comment if you'd like. Let me know how I've done, how I can improve. I'm always up for constructive criticism to let me know what I can do better on the next video. And I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to seeing what being on YouTube brings me. So I hope you guys are looking forward to growing along with me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.